Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to another mod tutorial. So this time uh, I'm still on Minecraft 1.16.5 and I'm bringing you mod grinding utils in version 0.4.21 and I will show you everything about the, the mod uh, and if you don't know this mod, this mod is a way of you to get uh, resources from, from uh, mobs, so the, the drops and it will help you kill them and uh, fortune when you kill them and push them away to a specific point and use the XP that you get from, from the mobs. So it's a very, it's a very neat, neat mob. Uh, so if you want to uh, jump to a specific part, I'll leave the chapters throughout the video, okay? So if you already know some stuff, uh, feel free to jump to the part that you don't know. And that's it, let's start it! So the first thing that I will show you is how to kill mobs. So you have a basic way of killing mobs, which is the iron spikes, and then you have the mob masher, which is like a upgraded um, iron spike. So the iron spikes are made as follows, uh, iron sword, block of iron, and basically it kills any mob that it sits on top. So there you go. And it will give you the XP and the drops. And then you have the mob masher, which is made with diamonds, iron spikes, a uh, block of iron, redstone block, and iron sword. And it has some slots for upgrades. So it has six slots for upgrades. You have the fire upgrade, anthropods upgrade, beheading, smite, sharpness, and looting. And to upgrade it, you just imagine that you have the looting one. You just go, you just right click the mob masher. Put the upgrade in and now it will apply the the, the upgrade uh, in the kills okay and to activate it now it's deactivated because it's it's still okay but if you give it a rest on signal there you go now it's active then we have a way of moving uh, mobs around so basically you have two ways of moving them with this with this mod so you have the entity conveyor and the mob fan so basically the entity conveyor it's made with some iron ingot redstone dust and slime balls and the mob fa mob fan is made with some iron ingot stone slabs and block of redstone and to show you how this works, I'll show you. So imagine that you want uh, the mobs to go, imagine, like, to this point, okay? I want them to go to this point. So you just do that. And now, uh, uh, any mob that sits here, imagine that, I, that I'm the the mod. You see? So I went through here, then here, then here, then here, okay? So this is a way of, of moving mobs uh, around. And if I show you, I can show you some something like, uh, not, not like that, like that. So right now, if I come here, I will travel along the, the, the conveyor belt, okay? And this is a way of moving them. And then you have the mob fan. So the mob fan, you can click on show area. So it will show you that it will fan anything that it's in this uh, space right here in blue. So if I come right here and I activate it with red sun signal, now I'm here, okay? So anytime that I want to cross, it will put me in this point, okay? But if you want it to make, uh, if you want to make it larger, you also have the uh, width upgrade, the height upgrade, and the distance upgrade, okay? So the height upgrade, if I put it right here, now you see that it's two blocks, two blocks tall, and then the width upgrade, you can see that now it's this area and if I put the distance upgrade now it's coming over here okay so that's pretty simple we then have the absorption hopper which is basically a block that will pick up any item in the world in a given area so you have an upgrade for it which is a radius upgrade and when you right click the block you will see this interface so basically you can show the area where it's working so you can see that it's this yellow block and then you can offset the the area so for example if you want the block to go one up you just right click it offset down uh, slash up if you put plus one it's going up okay i put another one so right now it's here if i put another one 
okay now the the box it's right here and then you can also upgrade it so imagine that you want to be wider now it's wider okay and also you can offset the box to uh, north south east and west so for example if i wanted to go north now uh, no, it's going south. Okay, now it went south. But you get the gist, okay? You can adjust it like this, and you can see the box moving, and then just hide area, and there you go. So to show you, if I have some items right here in the in the area of effect, it they it will pick up the items. There you go. Also, very important, it also picks up uh, experience, okay? So if you have um, a mob farm and you want the experience to be picked, it has an internal buffer. And it has also a display that will tell you where to drop items and experience. So for example, imagine that you want, that you have a tank. I'll grab a tank. Tank. Uh can be okay a tank from mechanism for example oh no 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 a tank from this mod it has a tank right here so if i have a tank imagine on the i'm facing north on the north side so you just come to the north and you do click on not item but fluid and right now you can see the connection also if you have a chest so for example i'll grab a chest Imagine that you have a chest right here, so I'm facing the east direction, so east and item. And ta-da! Now it will output automatically the items, uh, the XP to that side, the items to here. So if I drop this chest, it went here. And the crafting recipe for the absorption hopper is with some obsidian, hopper and an eye of ender. Then, there is a very simple item, which is the Ender Inhibitor, which will prevent mobs from teleporting. So to activate it, you just right-click, okay, and now you see the particles, and right-click again, it will be inactive. And to craft this, this item, you just need some Iron Ingots, Eye of Ender, Glowstone Dust, and Redstone Dust. Then, a structural block, which is the tinted glass. So the tinted glass, it's a, a glass that will prevent light from going through, as you can see in the tooltip. And it's tough enough to withstand uh, withers, so it's a witherproof uh, block. Then, two very useful items, which is the Wither Boss Death Muffler and the Ender Drag Dragon Death Muffler. So to craft these two, you just need some wool and the Wither Skeleton Skull for the Wither one, and for the Ender Dragon one, you need a Dragon Hack and a Wool. And they basically will prevent the, the sounds from, from these uh, mobs. And regarding the XP handling in the mod, you have a new type of fluid, which is the XP, uh, Fluid XP. And then we have three tanks, which is the Jumble Tank, the XP Drain Singularity Tank, and the Normal Singularity Tank. The recipes are as follows. The Normal Singularity Tank is some glass with iron. The XP Drain it's Eye of Ender, Upper, Iron Bars, and, singular, and the Singularity Tank. And the Jumble Tank, it's four tanks and some iron. So basically this is a, a large tank uh, compared to that one, okay? So it's like an upgraded tank. And the XP Drain Singularity, it's a way of you to drain XP from the player to a tank, okay? To get fluid. So I'll go into the into the game other game game mode so right now if i stand on top of this block as you can see my xp it's going down and you can hear this this sound and now if you right click the tank you can see how much fluid it's in it, it is in there so if i get a bucket not bucker it's a bucket and i right click it there you go now it's it it, it has less xp there and I have a fluid XP bucket with me. 
and still on the XP handling part, you also have an XP tap. So basically the XP tap, it's a new, uh, the, the other way around uh, to the drain singularity tank, okay? So the drain one will take XP from the player and put it in the tank in the form of the, of the liquid. And this one will take the liquid and give um, the, the normal XP to the player, okay? So if I put the... XP tap right here, and now you can see that it has a lot of fluid in there. If I right click it, now I have my. Uh, okay, I shouldn't. I shouldn't be in this game mode, so I'll go here. I'll drain some XP, and now if I come here and I right click it, now I have it all back. Then there is a way of using XP uh, in this mod, so you will want to get the XP Jelly Baby. So the XP Jelly Baby is an item that is used uh, in other machines, for example, the Entity Spawner. Not for example, it is the only one, okay? So you will need the, the this item. So to make it, you will first need a XP Mold Blank, okay? So you will want to craft this, which is some fluid XP bucket with some gold nuggets around it. And then, to have to craft the the XP mold jelly baby, you will want to put it in a crafting table, and it will give you the XP mold jelly baby. Okay. Then after that, you have to craft the XP solidifier, which is made with some conveyor entity conveyors, upper single singularity tank and piston, and you have to put the mold inside the, the the machine you also need to say to which side you want the items to go so i i've put north which is the direction where this chest is and you can see like the the conveyor there the the single not singularity or how is it called the entity conveyor is pointing to the di direction where the item will go and now if i put some xp in there and i put it on on and I change this from off to on it will make some jelly baby okay so I'll grab a bucket I'll put it in there and as you can see it's forming and now it's done so there you have it's one bucket for one uh, xp jelly baby and this is basically how you made it and the mod has a very important part, which is the spawning of entities. So you have a passive way of, spa of spawning them, which is using Delightful Dirt or Dreadful Dirt. And you have an active way, which is using the Entity Spawner, that we'll show you right now. So the Entity Spawner, spawner is crafted with Solid XP, Redstone, Eye of Ender, Blocks of Iron and Piston. And it has... Uh, these slots. So the middle slot is for the XP Jelly Baby. These three slots are for the upgrades, which is the width, height, and the speed. You can check the, the area of effect right here, and you can offset it, as you can see. You can hide it again. And to spawn it, you need a spawn egg of the entity that you want to, to spawn. So to do that, you will need to craft yourself a mob swap, which is made with some wool and a stick. And then you want to search for the entity. Let's say I want to spawn cows. So right now it has contains Minecraft cow DNA. Okay, so it has the DNA of, of the cow. And then to craft the egg, for example, uh, I have right here the zombie spawn egg, but I'll, I'll, I'll craft the, the cow one. You need some seeds, some seeds and a fluid XP bucket. Put it in the crafting table and you will get GM chicken feed. Now that you have this, this item, you will need a chicken, so find yourself a, a chicken in the world. So I will spawn one, because there, is, there isn't one here. So you have the chicken, right click the chicken with the item, and... Oh my god, <laughs> wait a second for the, for the music to stop, and then you have the egg of the entity that you took the, the swap from, okay? So now I have a cow, a cow spawn egg. So if now I go here and I put the cow spawn egg and I give a redstone redstone signal, now it will spawn a cow and there you go, there is the cow. Oops, let me make it day. 
and there you go you can see on top of it the entity that it will spawn okay and then when you right click the lever again it stops and that's basically it a quick side note the solid xp is placeable in the world okay and you can jump on it and it makes this sound okay and that's basically it you then have a way of spawning mobs in a passive way uh, so you want to get yourself a delightful dirt or a dreadful dirt. So the dreadful dirt is for uh, entities like zombies and skeletons and hostile mobs, okay? And the delightful dirt is for cows, chickens, pigs, so uh, mobs that spawn uh, generally in, in grass, uh, grassy areas. And, okay, this cow is... okay, go away. Shoo. So, to get these dirts, you want to get yourself a golden egg for the delightful one, or a rotten egg for the dreadful one. So, I'll go, I'll go to, the, to this one first. To get the golden egg, you want to craft a nutrition chicken feed. So, the nutrition chicken feed is made with some with beetroot, wheat, potato, carrots, four buckets of uh, fluid XP, and in the middle, uh, any type of seeds, and you will get this this feed and for the rotten hack you will want to craft a gm chicken feed cursed which is made with bone gunpowder rotten flesh spider eye, spider eye uh, some seeds and four buckets and then again you need the test subject which is chickens give me a chicken i'll have two so i'll give there you go, I have now the rotten hack and this one, I'll get the golden one. Now I have the golden one. So if you now look at the tooltip, uh, both rotten and golden egg says, say that they create a 5x5 five five area of dreadful dirt for the rotten egg and delightful dirt for the golden egg and it, it can be used on grass, dirt, mycelium or farmland so I will show you the golden egg be prepared, this one uh, spawns a lot of, of mobs as you can see, a lot so any mob that, it, that spawns on dirt or anything it will spawn on this area as you can see and then to have the dreadful dirt, you will need to get the rotten egg, go to a 5x5 five five area, right click it, and there you go. Now you have dreadful dirt. I mean peaceful, so that's why you can see mobs. So if I go into normal, they will start to spawn. Any mob that is like hostile or something, so you can see skeleton, witch, and more will come. Another witch. So it's a very powerful way of, of having uh, uh, mob drops and experience. Uh, it's using the dreadful dirt in this case. A very important side note, I now remove the ceiling. If you use it under the, the sunlight, it will burn. Okay, so I right click it and it catch fire all of it. And in a few seconds, you went away. Okay, so don't do it in open spaces. So that's it regarding everything in the mob mod. Uh, so, for example, I will show you two examples of of how you can build your rooms to get mob drops and XP. In this one, uh, you can have a passive way of generating. So you can either choose the golden egg or the rotten egg. I have here a five by five area of of grass. So you just right click in the middle. Remember to have a ceiling, okay? You must have a ceiling, right? Uh, here I don't have one uh, for for explaining purposes. And then you can have, for example, a fan that is blowing the um, the entities to to that to that part. So if I show area, you can see that it's it's blowing them to this line. And to do that, I used two uh, width upgrades, okay? With the lever on the other side, remember? And then I used some entity conve conveyors to push the mobs, the mobs to, the, to the middle and a mob masher with a maxed out in this case, you can have any, any combination that you want with a redstone signal on the back. And to grab the items, I have an absorption hopper right here, sending the XP to this tank or sending the um, items to this chest and, and then their inhibitor active in case I have a, a, 
a dreadful a dreadful uh, part a dreadful dirt yes dreadful dirt so this is a passive way and then you can have uh, an active way in this case imagine that you want to spawn uh, zombies you craft yourself the, the the spawn egg as i explained previously in the video put a uh, entity spawner on like like anywhere that that you want show the area in this case so the area is right under it i've put an offset of minus three i have some jelly beans baby i have the speed upgrade entity spawner height and width to match this box and then i have a lot of entity conveyors all going to the to this point where i have a mob masher again with some redstone tank absorption upper and chest and i can show you this in work so if i go into the normal difficulty and i put tag here and now i give it a signal you can see that it's starting to to spawn the zombies okay they are on fire because it's not night time so if it's night time as you can see the experience is going to this tank and the drops is, are going here and that's it for today guys i hope you liked the video give it a like subscribe check out my other videos and tell me which mods would you like to see covered in the future and that's it see you next time